अध्यात्म विद्या विद्या नाम दैट इज वॉट आर our arsh literature talks about and uh, uh, dr vibha gupta ma'am for a few moments actually i was really surprised as to why i was called because i have no idea i did nothing in my profession and i probably said i did specialize because of family circumstances i concentrated a lot on things around medicine Like if you are ill and you go to a super specialist, you get the best medical advice. But will that be sufficient to cure you, heal you? What is your own contribution in healing yourself? And, and I think spirituality plays plays a very definite role here. First of all, your mind controls the body. We must remember that regardless of what medicine says, everything originates in the mind. So a calm mind. how to keep it and uh, also which may not sound very good to you people see medicine if you join this profession you must be only patient centric not also only patient centric this field is only for the patients when the money and all they come shouldn't worry about it to make up and be only patient centric you know then you have to have that empathy with the patient compassion for the patient and also see if he cannot afford it give appropriate treatment for that so unless you are patient centric i don't think we are a doctor we should be a doctor for the patients most of all thanks a lot ma'am for setting up the foundation uh, of it all uh, we had uh, we had segmented the entire spectrum of arogyata into four distinctive uh, uh, i would say segments as you can see on the backdrop we said that uh, the four dimensions of futuristic healthcare are digitizing healthcare information making it all digital a lot of us talked about lot is being done about it the second dimension is embracing disruptive medical technologies we saw a demonstration of one of it all and then integrated steward laboratory loads and loads of uh, uh, new disruptive medical technologies are coming through the third uh, level is putting patients in the center of healthcare what dr vibha gupta just mentioned about it and finally arogyata freedom from disease jivem shardha shatam pashyem shardha shatam uh, shifting focus from treatment to prevention and accordingly we at everything india felt that this should be segmented and felicitated in that uh, uh, pervasive fashion we would now like to confer upon dr keshav baliram hedgewar arogya bhushan embracing disruptive medical traditions and technologies upon the department of urology at aims bhatinda Uh, led by Dr. Kamaljeet Singh Kaura and his team for a very special aspect for having brought down the average cost of a kidney transplant from rupees five lakh to fifteen lakhs to less than a lakh of rupees. So this is a phenomenal accomplishment. What the Department of Urology at AIMS Bhatinda has really uh, struck at. I request Professor K K Agrawal sir to hand over this citation and also request Dr. Kora to talk about that. Yes, a magic Hindustan me affordability is a big, big, big question, and how it all was all brought about just for the. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, good evening, all. First of all, thank you so much for this commemoration, and uh, I would like to talk a bit about Aims Patanda. Uh, Maybe many of you might be knowing, might not be knowing. Uh, this is second phase AIMS, uh, which started its opening in 2019, and it's located in uh, Punjab region, Bhatinda, which is the southern part of the Punjab. And uh, starting in 2019, it's a 750 bed uh, 
uh, hospital and uh, currently all beds and all specialties are functioning. We started uh, in November 2019 and uh, immediately when we started uh, COVID start. And uh, because of that almost for one to one and a half years, everybody, you know, had lost and that. And effectively within two to two and a half years, uh, AIMS Lutenda has reached uh, from an currently an OPD uh, to almost 3,000 to 3,500 a day. It's an institute which is catering to three states, not only Punjab, it's catering to the Rajasthan state and uh, also to Haryana. Today, we have a batch of MBBS, which is 100 students. We have specialty, all the residents, and we have super specialty. Even in urology, uh, we have uh, two MCH residents with us in a short span of uh, two to two and a half years. It's by God's grace and uh, by the efforts of our honorable worthy director, Professor D.K. Singh, he was supposed to come. But unfortunately, his health is not well. He could not come, and I am here to receive this award on behalf of Sir. Uh, now, coming to transplant, uh, I am transplant trained from BJ Chandigarh. I am MCS trained from King George Medical University Lucknow. Uh, transplant was always a dream. Uh, we are the first AIMS among the second phase contemporary AIMS who has got uh, uh, this transplant initiative. Others are yet to start. The first phase six aims are already started with the transplant. Uh, we have, we all know, we are all maximum aims on aims. We know we cater to the poor people. And the first thing that was in mind was how to take this transplant service to the poor people. So this figure uh, that is being quoted, it is basically we are doing, we are starting with the transplant under the Ashman Bharat. So that is uh, the best thing uh, that is there. Apart from that, there are certain other funds uh, from the state as well as the center in which the patient is being catered to. So, uh, this is not a single man's job to take it forward. So, this award that I am receiving is not only for me or my team, it is on behalf of all the team members of AIMS Patinda and again the, under the uh, guidance of uh, the directors. Thank you so much. Thank you. Sir. We heard in greater detail as to how uh, Professor Dr. Ramesh Tower is, uh, has taken up the cause of cancer screening in a big way and so humbly she expressed as to how an academic and a pediatrician uh, thinking about setting up a cancer hospital was stupid. We would like to honor from this August forum uh, uh, Professor Dr. Ramesh Tower with Dr. Keshav Bairam Hedgevar Arogya Ratna for her lifetime contributions to the field of pathology and transfusion medicine, including the setting up of the Central Immunohisto Chemistry Laboratory in the Department of Pathology at Ames Delhi, being the lead auditor and technical auditor for the National Accreditation Board for Testing and Calibration Laboratories, having audited numerous clinical laboratories in Delhi and around the country for accreditation with NABL. Alongside advanced interventions in surgical pathology comprising of cytology, histopathology, and oncopathology, especially lymphorectacular and gynecological malignancies, breast cancer and oral cancer, and special studies on the placenta and its changes in high risk pregnancies and intrauterine growth retardation. I request uh, Professor Dr. Ramesh Dawar, ma'am, uh, to accept this token tribute from this office platform, remembering Dr. Ji and her lifelong contribution to the field of Arugeta. experiences, but I'll tell you what makes me most proud is to see people I've taught at Ames and all the young people here 
they can say that now. <laughs> Young people and uh, who have really gotten into this kind of things, worry about the social aspects, the other aspects, the poor of this country. And I think it's part of what we learned at AIDS itself. I, many years ago, when I was an undergraduate over there, that's when I first came in contact with the really poor of this country. And I think this is where we learn that they matter the most. Because there's a lot of potential there and it goes to waste. And we actually are obliged to make sure that it doesn't go to waste. This coming here, I saw two little children on the roadside playing. And I kind of thought, hell, this car's coming over here. What's going to happen to these children? And he had bright little kids, and I had one who must have been about three years old. I mean, we'd be scared, but look at the potential that is being lost over there. They're as bright as any child I know. And yet, that's where they are. And if we don't do it, oh, I'm glad to see that they're joining people who are trying to help get our country to its potential. Thank you very much. The National Medical Commission, its ethics and medical registration board, the foundation of it all, a lot was deliberated about uh, the foundational ethics of it all. Uh, we would like to confer upon Dr. Keshav Baliram Hedgevar, Arogya Vibhushan, uh, putting patients in the center of healthcare on the Ethics and Medical Registration Board of NMC through its extensive and elaborate initiatives and interventions as enumerated in the Registered Medical Practitioner Professional Conduct Regulations uh, 2023. We have been graced by Madam Vijay Lakshmi Nag uh, to receive this token tribute from this August forum. Uh, I request uh, Madam. join us uh, for the other felicitations uh, uh, in her August presence. Uh, yeah. I am really, uh, very thankful on behalf of the Ethics and Medical Registration Board, National Medical Commission. It's really, very daring to be an ethics person. When we are seeing that uh, our senior faculty is sitting in front of me. Being a junior, giving the order for the medical negligence, that's a really terrible thing. But I have worked in very great institutes like All India Institute of Medical Sciences, New Delhi, All India Institute of Medical Sciences, Jodhpur, KGMU, I am from the MBBS and MD from KGM Lucknow and also work in the uh, Bahampur Medical College, uh, Odisha. But the main thing and the maximum I have enjoyed working in the place, the Kodapur area, very, very remote area, Sarvasina and Patrapur. Because my husband was posted there and I have seen the life, there is nothing called the ethics. So, only you can see a very great uh, roads, good lighting, but the patients and individual, they are not educated at all. They don't know what to eat. 
whether the milk is for the drinking or milk to so you have to eat only the water rice in means rice water so this type of life where really the health is required we must focus in those areas where the health has not reached properly so thank you so much for honoring me and my team thank you so much. Thanks for your time. And if you can continue uh, with the felicitations, we would really like to join the whole uh, panel uh, to felicitate others. Uh, yeah, we we'll just yeah. Prevention ki aaj jab baat ho rahi thi, to I think there is not a better contribution uh, than the recently released uh, guidelines from the National Institute of Nutrition under the aegis of uh, Indian Council of Medical Research, led by Dr. Hemlata Ma'am. Uh, they have brought about a new guideline which has uh, limited sugar in processed foods like soda, bread, etc. Replacing the previous fo uh, focus on calorie thresholds to putting specific limits on sugar content, uh, bolstering the preventive healthcare ecosystem. Ahar hi aushadi hai, uska nirupar ICMR NIN ki ek bahut hi gune team ne kiya hai aur aaj yoga divas ke Avasar par isse bada tribute to the yoga divas cannot be better than the ICMR NIN which has said that 86% of the diseases can be prevented and they are all because of uh, Ashuddha, Ahar, whatever we can say so. I will request Dr. Himlata Mohan ma'am to re uh, receive uh, this token appreciation from uh, I think uh, Dr. Vijayalakshmi Nag ma'am uh, because uh, Ahar or ethics on dono ke beech ka ye jo samanjas se hai ye jo कड़ी है ये भारत के आरोग्य इकोसिस्टम को वास्तव में बलवती बनाएगा ऐसी प्रार्थना है ऐसी आशा है आहार से रोग किस प्रकार हो रहा है उसको ट्रीट करती हैं हमारी डॉक्टर अंजू विरमानी मैम एंड नो वन वाज मोर रिलेटेड देन हर uh, we would like to really confer upon Dr. Keshav Baliram Hedgevar Arogya Vibhushan putting patients in the center of healthcare and it is Dr. Virmani which was uh, substantiated by Arun Goyal sir as well with long elaborate prescriptions uh, Dr. Virmani for exemplified by her ultra sympathetic and elaborate personalized care protocols for various endocrinology disorders so uh, we really like to felicitate Dr. Virmani ma'am for her empathy. Joey Gul, she loads and loads of empathy. And uh, we all saw her uh, interacting in the forum and talking about, uh, uh, talking to Niti Aayog, ki policies change only change. She was the best uh, uh, to congratulate NIN for that matter. Thank you very much. I echo Dr. Rupa Gupta. I don't know why I'm getting But what I do know is that if I need food, I'm going to eat it. And that I can provide in good measure. Uh, so I'm not sure about empathy, but I'm going to eat food with a lot of acid with my patients. Uh, and in such August, I'm really humble. But one thing I've discovered in the last few many years is in this uh, family bank account, if you add a little bit, it's so interesting with you. कि it's it's really a little frightening sometimes कि भगवान इतना क्यों खोल के देते हैं पर देते हैं thank you so much we would like to pay our deep respects uh, uh, to the integrated stewardship laboratory at Ames Mangalagiri for having further the domain of diagnostic stewardship to initiate definitive antimicrobial therapy by installing the bench top matrix assisted laser resorption ionization, time of flight, multi uh, TOF, mass spectrometry, MS prime, helping clinical microbiologists identifying the bacteria and certain fungi in a few minutes so as to start antimicrobial agents at the earliest and also to prevent antimicrobial resistance in the pathogens causing infections in patients. Also the installation of an upgraded 10 optic channel 
cartridge based nucleic acid amplification test giving a big boost in the diagnostics of tuberculosis uh, gen ex gene expert for the detection of viral pathogens including sars cov2 hiv as well as in the viral loads of hiv hbv hcv along with the installation of Celia DXL600 Batman and Coulter for various serological tests like the detection of antigen and antibodies against HIV, HPV, HCV, leptospirosis and various infectious agents. I think the entire focus of futuristic pathology, my antimicrobial thing, a kundalini nikal ke rakhi we heard Professor Sumit Rai in such greater detail as to how they are attacking the microbes, the bacteria I would invite uh, Dr. Sumit Rai from Ames Mangalagiri to accept this Dr. Kesha Bhairam Hedgevar Arogya Bhushan embracing disruptive medical traditions and technologies uh, from the Cyrus Forum. Dr. K.K. Prabhat sir, yeah, and ma'am, join me. Any two words, sir, if you may. I'll just let him with two words both in it. So in front of two words, I'll just tell you two stories about how the concept of integrated stewardship case. Almost 25 years ago, we all have our own stories, right? So around 25 years ago, when I was first year PG student, I observed, looking at the AST player, there was a certain pattern of Klebsiella that was coming from a particular area. I went to that new you and I spoke to Dr. Henry Mathur. Sir, this is the pattern that is coming from. I was a first year PG student, I had no knowledge about microbiology, frankly speaking. I just went, this is just purely logic. I went up to him in the Niku and I told him this is the issue, what is happening. He said, Beta, I've gone. I said, my first year PG microbiology. Okay, then in my third year's career, I'm first time seeing a microbiologist coming to a clinician. Mm -hmm. So, probably that was the first story when I tried to bridge the gap from the microbiologist to the clinician. Then, another thing that came out my, in my previous institute. I was staying on campus and I used to take a night round with my clinician friends, the pediatric surgeon and pediatricians to take night rounds. And those who have sent blood cultures, I used to finally send the final blood culture report within 24 hours, the collection of the blood samples. I'm talking about blood cultures, not Pfizer examples. So night reporting, 24-7 reporting, that was the thing that I wanted to do always. And my HOD used to say, okay, infections are like a sick evidence here. I told them, if infections don't take a break, the microbiologists cannot take a break. So it was a dream to have 24-7 integrated microbiology lab which I was working on. We didn't apply for anything, but I'm really surprised. And like Ma'am said, the Garpa really plays off very well at times. Thank you so much. Before we come to the drawing of pulmonology, we would like uh, to felicitate uh, from the land of Jai Jagannath, Ames Bhuvaneshwar, the pediatric pulmonology and ICU team, we did a miracle in that eastern part of the country for performing the innovative bronchoscopic intervention procedure which utilizes less invasive flexible bronchoscopy for the removal of sharp airway foreign bodies to remove a 4 cm long stitching needle from a 9 year old child from the left lower lobe bronchus lateral segment of the lungs uh, with Dr. Kesha Baliram Hedgevar Arogya Bhushan, embracing disruptive medical traditions and technologies. So, interesting as your question. And in a few words, in this field, there was a lot of research. A young aims, but what a phenomenal uh, procedure. Uh, is, uh, everybody knows that uh, necessity is mother invention. So, with the limited resources you have, uh, you need to do something innovative with your uh, resources. Like this kid who came to us, uh, the, the two days of, he was uh, he had eaten some non veg and he was eating his tooth that needed to suffice in the sleep. And then he aspirated externally. So, Surgeons told that we need to remove the lung because it's difficult to get it out. Then we thought that we let us uh, give a chance. So this is likely we had the smallest scope in our institute. 
So with that we went very uh, peripherally into the lungs. So then we could catch it with the domia and then we could remove it. This is so, so that we can uh, uh, abate the procedure of thalapotomy uh, and uh, allopectomy. There is uh, uh, in morbid condition for a patient who is a uh, small kid. Another thing is, uh, is said that we are this is forbidden now because what I am saying is that we need to be innovative in uh, what we are doing. So for, uh, uh, two years back uh, we did ECMO for the one and a half year kid. Uh, he had to undergo whole lung lovers. So at the time we had machine we had other cameras. So like what do they and again the very poor it is uh, difficult for them to buy because it can easily cost around the period around 20, 20, 30, 30, 000. We need, have, we need to have two cameras for that. So what we did was, uh, uh, let's try with uh, the cat lab uh, sheets. It's easily available in the cat lab. Because we need the ECMO only for 24 hours, particular procedure. So we succeed in that. And then we need to have, uh, in the critical limbs, where we have the resources we need to use. Because, uh, and